Welcome everyone. We have with us uh, India's second Grandmaster in History, Dipendu Borba with us. Second uh, DDDBCA Open Rating Chess Tournament started, which is the first uh, classical rating tournament in West Bengal after two years. So, how, how, how has it been organizing this event? Uh, well, first of all, I, uh, I want to say that uh, as I told that this is the first tournament after COVID. Actually, we were planning to hold tournament, but due to the restrictions, we could not do. And uh, as you all know that uh, last two years, uh, because of the lot, lots of uh, restrictions, uh, I, players did, did not play any tournament. They were playing only online tournaments, rapid tournaments, or some kind of one-day event. But uh, as now slowly we are trying to come back to the new normalcy and uh, all the uh, players were eagerly waiting for this uh, offline tournament, for physical tournament and I am sure that uh, all the players, those who are taking part in this tournament, 182 players, I am sure that they would uh, love to uh, play this tournament, they will enjoy it and uh, I'm, I wish that the best player win the tournament and I also, I also wish that they will, uh, will uh, play uh, sportingly and because I, I saw uh, some games, some two days, as soon as the game started, the many uh, games were over within half an hour or maybe one hour. So uh, I don't blame them but I think this is just because of the habit they have grown for the last two years by playing lots of uh, uh, online tournaments, lots of uh, rapid tournaments, two days tournament, one day tournament. So this made them this kind of bad habit. So I'm sure that they will slowly, uh, this will really help them to uh, gain their uh, patience, gain their, uh, to get, their, get back their old mood. Uh, so this is what I'm, I'm very happy that after, at last uh, we could organize this tournament. Uh, 44 Chess Olympiad is less than 80 days away and uh, we heard uh, in the inauguration and we also know that you have played several Olympiads, seven consecutive in uh, the span of 12 years from 1988 to 2000. So can you share some fond memories because you have played with Anand and also with some generation, uh, younger generation, who is also playing in uh, this year's Olympiad. Yeah, I think uh, there is a dream for a, each and every chess player to represent their country to the Olympiads because we don't have the Olympics. And uh, so it is, uh, I mean, uh, all we uh, dream for this tournament and I had the opportunity here yeah, to play Olympiads, seven Olympiads continuously uh, from 88 to 2000, Istanbul and uh, 2002 also I was selected, I was in the team but then I had some arguments and problems with the federation so I did not go. Uh, otherwise, yeah, Olympiad to represent the country in any tournament is a pride and of course the Olympiad uh, to get a chance for the Olympiad team. And uh, I remember I played my first Olympiad in 88 and those days there were no, no uh, mobiles, no communications. So at last moment, in, I mean in those days, uh, we had to, uh, the, our players had to go to uh, Delhi to meet, uh, to the Sastri Bhavan, see me, I still remember. We used to, some of us senior players used to go to uh, Delhi, station there for, uh, stay there for 7 days or 10 days to get the uh, permission to move the uh, file from one desk to the other desk and finally we could get the permission just a day, day before. Not like now already our Indian players they know that they know that uh, they are going to represent India long, I mean, uh, long time back and they are at least 2 months back or 3 months back they can prepare and uh, we didn't have any coach, we didn't have any uh, 
this kind of facilities. So we just met. So suddenly I got call for the message the, the local phone. I mean that too I didn't have any phone in my residence. My neighbors they had a number the federation had. So suddenly I got a call from Delhi that uh, this tournament I been I mean I knew I had been selected, but uh, yes the local government has cleared our proposal. And uh, immediately I had to take a flight to Delhi, and uh, I took a flight. I went. My father went to Indian Airlines, uh, Indian Airlines uh, office. I still remember at the VIP gate, last moment they could give uh, give me a seat uh, by which I flew to Delhi. And then uh, somehow I could. Uh, I mean, we all met in Delhi, and finally uh, we went to. Uh, Saloniki is in Greece, the first uh, Olympiad which I played in '88. Uh, Anand was also in the team, and uh, fortunately uh, we were the teammates and we were the roommates also, and uh, that was a really, uh, lifetime experience just to have Anand as a room partner, uh, and then uh, uh, as that as the game progressed. Uh, final round, I needed a draw for my first knock, first GM knock. Okay, before that, uh, as we all know that Anand was already then Grandmaster, the first Grandmaster from India. And uh, last round, I was white and uh, I, was, I needed a win uh, for, uh, for getting the knock. And I was about to win, but I had a choice of selecting uh, whether to go for a exchange or to go for a queen against rook and i could i didn't i didn't uh, realize that if i go for a queen against rook then uh, i cannot make any progress it is, uh, so uh, i chose the wrong path and uh, wrong uh, continuation and it a little go and i was so upset uh, that uh, because uh, earlier also i missed a lot i mean uh, GM knows, but that was so close, and uh, I was very upset. Then uh, Anand came from behind, and he patted me in the back, and he said, uh, "Dipu." I mean, he calls me as Dipu, my nickname, and uh, he said, uh, "Don't worry, you missed the norm by half a point. That it shows that you are very close to uh, get the title or get the norm." And that was a really uh, an inspiration for me, which motivation uh, motivated me because you know, I, mean, I think it happens to each and every everyone's life that you miss some so close, you miss the norm, you just want to get the norm, but then you miss it and then you get the upset or frustrated or something like that disappointed and then someone like a uh, great player, someone like a younger brother, if he comes and takes me this, so it really inspired me a lot and I, I never forget that and then I played in the second time in the Novisa, the, then the Yugoslavia. And uh, uh, I must say that that was, I won a gold medal on second goal. And I, one experience I want to share that uh, the last round I think we were uh, paired with the USA. And uh, uh, I was already uh, just before the last round. I already uh, uh, scored so much that I was confirmed to get that uh, medal. Uh, then uh, I thought that, we, I mean, the Indian team, we thought that uh, I would take rest on the last round so that uh, gold medal would be confirmed. Uh, but then the captain of the, uh, I, no, sorry, I think we are, we are paired with the Czech Republic, uh, Czechoslovakia, sorry, that time Czechoslovakia. A very strong team, mm -hmm. and that time suddenly in the evening, uh, before the uh, before the board orders to be given, uh, we saw that the U.S. Uh, captain we were searching for the Indian captain, and in the, in the, so then we found that he came and to request our team captain that uh, I must uh, play. Some of they they thought that. Uh, in the Indian team, I will be dropped because of my confirmation for the uh, 
Gold medal. And uh, so they came and requested our captain specifically to play, to make sure that Anand and myself to be played on that day, uh, first and second goal. Who was the and, captain at that time? Uh, I think Ravi Shankar. Raja Ravi Shankar. I think so. Yeah. Maybe I have to check. I mean, my memory is very bad. Mm -hmm. So I have, to I have to just clarify that. But I, I don't remember what was the exact time. Then they requested us, the captain and the, the manager and the coach. And uh, then uh, they asked me what to do. You want to play? You want to take risk? So I said yes. I mean, it is if it is Indian team, if they think that I should play, I will play. I don't mind. But uh, of course, I will never show that I would get any I mean, one of the medals. If not, Gold, then silver. If not silver, then bronze. But of course, I mean, both uh, like to destroy the chance of getting the gold medal. But then I said okay, and then I played, and I drew, and I managed to get the gold medal. So this, this is how I mean, it's a, it's a team event. So my, after that, I realized that uh, on that particular occasion, that uh, uh, Olympiad is like. You are playing for the team, you are playing for the country and you have to uh, listen, you have to, you have to uh, think of the team so that you don't play for yourself. Whether you lose or win or you lose some point, you have to play for the country and you have to, play, you have to obey the, uh, obey the uh, captain's order. Whatever captain feels, he has to, you have to just uh, listen to him. And, uh, uh, there is no chance to have the you know I mean selfishness or just to play for your own interest not not like that and that is one thing I guess I learned from that particular uh, uh, event and also uh, okay this time uh, I know our team is very strong those two teams are going to play especially the second team all the youngsters so I must I will say to them my advice to them that uh, all of you are very talented, very, all, uh, you have already shown that you are in the top, you are going to be the top in the in future, you are going to be the top. So, but you are playing for the country, uh, some, maybe some, some of you are playing for the first time. So those who are playing debut in the, this Olympiad, I must say that, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I know, I mean, suppose you are playing for the first time, then lots of pressure is there. What would happen if I make draw? What would happen if I lose the game? For for my losing, the Indian team may uh, uh, lose the match. So these pressures will be there. This kind of uh, you know, I mean, unwanted. Whether you know you want or not, this pressure will be there. So you have to just play, relax, and play uh, freely. I know you. I I, I mean, I, I don't want to give you the these things, uh, this, uh, uh, no, don't think that I am going to give you the, why is this thing I am telling you, you know, it's not like that, uh, it's my experience I am saying, that uh, uh, whatever the result comes, comes, of course you have to, sometimes it happens that you are thinking of uh, winning, but you need a draw, or team needs a draw for the match, for the match point. But you are you are already in advantage. So sometimes if your captain comes and say, "Okay, agree for draw," that you have to listen to that. Uh, so I mean, there's no scope that you say, "No, I do. I want to play and I want to win." So because you all are young, I mean, you definitely play for each and every game you fight for winning. But sometimes you need to play for the country. Sometimes you need, you need to but with this tournament. You will need to play for the country, you need to play for the for your captain, you need to play for your teammates. And one more thing is that, uh, that is, uh, try to continue the game till the others are playing. Because suppose you, uh, someone is playing so fast and, and uh, loses, and that gives a bad uh, impact to the other members. Because when they, when they see that one of our members has lost the game so fast, 
or maybe within within an hour or two hours. Uh, uh, so that is uh, automatically that we specialize the other members to even the result uh, so that the, the, in the team doesn't lose the ma match point. So you have to play slowly, you have to be have the patience and play, see what is happening in the other boards and so on. So there's lots of uh, experience will be there, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, I played seven times. I was also captain for the Indian team twice, I think. And it is an honor, uh, it was my honor to be the captain. And of course the gold medal. And uh, yes, with me, I played with uh, Shashi. I played with Hari, uh, Anand, even Dhammuri, Sujira Dhammuri. Uh, okay, these generations I did not play, <laughs> but uh, yes. Uh, the A team, which Indian team is going to play, A team, I think most of them I played with them. But the, the, the second team, I have not played with them in the any team, team event. Yeah, they were not even born at that time. Yeah. <laughs> Except Adivan, I guess. Except? Adivan. Bhaskar Adivan. 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 Yeah, so they are all young, very young, very talented. <laughs> all of you, we are proud of you, all, all, all of you. And I'm sure that, um, in, mm, I, I think that the B team will do much better than the A team. It's <laughs> my personal opinion. Uh, uh, without any, uh, with due respect to the A team, I know the A team is very, very solid, very experienced, and all are uh, well known players. Uh, but somehow, uh, B team, they are very young, very energetic, very dynamic, and uh, they are all fighters and they want to play for win. So it might happen that they may uh, uh, draw will be very less that the equal. They will always I mean we not lose. So that way, I think the second team is much much. Uh, we all will look forward for that. Team B and also women team also very strong. Our A team is very strong. Ampi is there, Tanya is there, uh, Hariga is there, Sivaishal is there, mm -hmm. and uh, Abhakti. So this A team is also very strong. I mean, Indian women team is also very strong. Mm -hmm. It is a combination of uh, experience and uh, newcomers. So we all look forward because it's happening. It's going to be in India. And I must congratulate the Indian Chess Federation for getting it in India. Of course, Anand is also, I must congratulate, thanks to Anand also, for his contribution to get the Olympiad to be held in India. It is, I think, it is the biggest ever, biggest tournament, chess tournaments in, in, in the chess world. And uh, I think it's a lifetime uh, achievement for, 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 our, for Bharat, uh, Bharat, Bharat Ji and also for the world dynamic uh, president. So I must commiserate all of them and I must commiserate thanks also to the Tamil Nadu government to come forward to support this mega event. Otherwise this would not be happened. And, uh, I, and also at the same time I would request each and every one, those who are currently in chess in India, they must visit Chennai to watch this mega event, to watch this the, the world-renowned players playing for their country and in one tournament. It is nowhere you can get it. And it is, <laughs> I mean, it, it will be very expensive to go abroad and see the uh, Olympiad. So it's a lifetime achievement, it's a golden achievement, I mean, golden opportunity uh, for, the, for the chess lovers, for the chess players, everyone, those who put effort, please, please go and visit this Olympiad, you will really have a good time and this will be the lifetime experience because you will see the concern and others playing for their country and all their all the actions for their country. Because I, I had the opportunity to see Kasparov, Karpov, all these uh, world, world class players to play for their country. And it is a team event, it is a different kind of uh, different kind of uh, uh, chemistry and environment. Chemistry, yeah. So it is. I mean, uh, you will not see in. I mean, uh, in the open tournaments, on the close tournaments, 
it is they are doing for their individual performance. But team event it is something unique. So I'm looking forward, and uh, definitely I'll be there. I want to see. I want to meet my old friends also, because after 2000, I did not uh, visit. Uh, in fact, uh, I didn't know whether it is going to be held in India. Before that itself, I uh, just uh, one day I was talking with uh, Bharat, and I told him I told him that I want to go and watch uh, Olympiad sometime this year or maybe the next time, because I want to meet my old friends. And fortunately. It is going to be in India, yeah. so definitely I'll see. Speaking of old friends, uh, Vishy Ananda has decided to endorse uh, Dorkovich, and if Dorkovich uh, retains for second term, then Anand will become uh, FIDE deputy vice president. So, what is your opinion? Yeah, yeah. This? I was first of all I was very surprised when I saw this news yesterday, and really it is great and if Anand. Uh, comes to uh, in the uh, uh, World Chess Federation. It will be definitely a big, big uh, inspiration for the Indian Chess Fraternity. And definitely we would love to see Anand as an administrator. And now he's a mentor, he will be available during this uh, tournament. And he's already working with the Indian team as a mentor. And he's always helping the youngsters. And so definitely if he uh, becomes the deputy president of the FIDE, I am sure that the Indian chess uh, would be much, much benefited by his becoming deputy president. So um, we are eagerly waiting for this uh, Congress, FIDE Congress, to be held in, during the Olympiad. And let's see. And so. A Twitter user uh, asked uh, PhD Nielsen, who is Carlsen's head coach and uh, has been long term associated with Anand, that uh, what's his take on uh, Anand endorsing Dorkovic. Uh, PhD Nielsen replied in Twitter that uh, it is his wish and he would uh, try his best to make sure that uh, Anand becomes FIDE president. So, what's your take on this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no comments. <laughs> I don't make any comments, but of course. Uh, we would, I, I personally believe that the, that the players should uh, come to the uh, in the in the administration, and uh, because players can only uh, they can only feel what is required. So definitely, I, for my future, if Anand becomes fit president, who knows? Maybe next time or maybe maybe in very near future. So definitely, we'll, uh, to be. The president, something, something much, something great. And of course, I mean, we would love to first see Anand to come to the FIDE uh, platform, and uh, that's it. If he comes, then definitely we would be the, all the Indians would be much much happier. Switching gears, almost a decade ago, uh, realtor Pradeep Sadani came to you who invented Dynamo Chess and then you played a very key role in the deciding the movement of Dynamo the piece. Dynamo Chess is a chess variant, we all know about it. So can you say what uh, happened and how did you influence and uh, what is the current movement of Dynamo which you decided? Yeah, first of all, uh, it, is a different, it is a new version of chess, it is a 10 by 10. And uh, yeah, I think there are uh, 10 by 10 uh, person chesses there in uh, some country, I don't remember. But there is a different kind of pieces are there. In Dynamo Chess, we have a similar type of pieces, all the pieces like chess boards, uh, except there is a new, one new piece is being, being introduced. It's called Dynamo or the Missile. It is uh, it, uh, actually 10 by 10, as I told earlier. And the uh, white and black will have uh, both will have two dynamos each. That both the dynamos or the missiles uh, they are placed uh, just beside king and queen. And uh, the the best part of this dynamo chess is that the one single piece can checkmate. That is dynamo piece.
can check me because its power is uh, it can go move as knight or bishop mm -hmm. so it's a big two piece combination and so if the number piece is on f6 and king is on h8 then it is a checkmate because bishop is giving check and at the same time knight is controlling the white squares g8 and h7, g8 and h7. Yes. so it is a unique uh, part of this dynamo chess is that one single piece in chess one single piece cannot checkmate so this is the dynamo chess yes we have uh, this dynamo chess was first introduced in 2015 and mr sadani he is the main person of this uh, variant of this new new version of the chess and uh, of course our side is also there you are also there you have also helped a lot for making it i mean rules and regulations how how to uh, make the moves dynamo piece earlier it was a uh, different uh, uh, power then we thought okay bishop and knight would be much better and then initially we thought of putting it in the corner of the board but now it is placed beside the king and queen so that it can immediately uh, come to the game and also it can protect the queen and the king uh, and it is a uh, the rules are one or two rules are very, very different from the chess rules because normally pawns are in in real chess pawn can move one or two squares from the original square uh, and in dynamo chess it can move one two or three squares in the first move uh, of the pawns and when the pawn can reach to the tenth rank the last rank here in the dynamo chess you can like in chess you can take any piece you want so you can take you can it can promote it as a dynamo piece and uh, one more change is, uh, is there that the end passive it can uh, in in the FHS it is once it it can happen but in dynamo chess it the same one can uh, capture or can in passing twice so these are the minor changes and we are trying to introduce it again this year and we are going to have a tournament first of its kind in in India, in Bengal, uh, that is Dynamo Chess Tournament on 20th of May at my academy, same place, uh, where we are hoping to have uh, some of the renowned chess players, and they have already confirmed. And so we are planning to have 16 players uh, knockout tournament because just one to this one day event, and we want to see the how it how it gets response and during this tournament uh, rating tournament we are keeping one dynamo chess set here so that the players who are playing they can play and enjoy and i'm sure that this version this new variant this uh, dynamo chess will be more uh, enjoyable and the players will really like it and we are thinking of making it to the um, bring it to the in, the in the online game so that you know I mean uh, anyone can play through online uh, so that's our uh, plan and let's hope that Dynamo Chess will be more popular and we are also planning to uh, if possible if uh, finance permits uh, to give some demonstration during the holiday period and that would be nice because we are uh, we will get thousands of players, hundreds of players, so the, the it can so that it can reach to uh, the world audience, the other countries also. So, so, do, all so do you think this uh, chase variant has the potentiality to become as popular as uh, Fisher Random or yeah, Chase yeah, 960? Yeah. Yes, yes, I think so. I think so because of the dynamo piece. Mm -hmm. Because it's a new see Fisher Random. Other uh, chess 960. It is all the chess pieces, but it is a okay. Random, it's random. random. Yeah. But here it is not random. It is all the pieces are same, placed like normal chess book. But only that piece 
the single piece uh, which both the players will have two two pieces two 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 dynam di two uh, missile or the two dynamos uh, in their hand so that they can use it like queen will have then two dynamos so that it will make more complications and more enjoyable and uh, suddenly you will see that feel that the bishop is uh, dynamo is moving like bishop or it can move like knight the same piece so it have you have to be all the time you have to be very careful very alert because suddenly you see that uh, your uh, bishop a uh, dynamo i mean dynamo piece can give checkmate so i think it will be much more popular provided we can make it to the uh, online or to the uh, worldwide audience worldwide uh, popular we hope someday it becomes so much popular that we can witness a world championship for it just like yeah, fisher and yeah, i hope so because i am i am very positive and i am i like the game very much and i am i would request all my all the players that at least you should try and you will i am sure that you will love it coming back to this tournament uh, in this event uh, we do not see a lot of title players or higher rated players playing most of them uh, having this reason that uh, the fides new rating change rule effect that if you face more than 400 rating points difference rated player then uh, the rating increase will be benefited only once but later on uh, you cannot so do you think that uh, in chess chess is the only sport where the rating rule is such that it doesn't benefit uh, someone who is above 18 or higher rated player when they are facing much lower rated player so is this an adverse rule which is uh, forcing players or the adults to choose the tournaments more carefully yes i think so because okay i heard about it but i i mean never thought seriously but then uh, once this tournament is being organized which i was very surprised not to see any uh, higher rated players to play this tournament uh, or i mean not that is uh, that the world is also as you say yeah it is very uh, disappointing that i you know all the top players are not playing uh, because of that rule uh, which is i think just few months back recently it has been introduced and um, definitely i think it will uh, give a very negative impact to the to the overall chess development I, that's what i feel so for them i think definitely they will also realize this in near future and the view and also they will think about it to rectify or to modify whatever way they can make it so that again the the, the higher rated players play in the tournament because uh, first of all it's very difficult to get the uh, title holders or the higher rated players to play and if you make this kind of rule then of them obviously they will not play they will not take that risk so i think time will come in very short within a very short period that uh, fide will think about it and they will modify or try to rectify it thank you mr borwa for your valuable time and speaking which is best india i wish you all the best in future thank you thank you so much